visitors packed the Badger ammo plant today. Gates were open to the public while some people are still on edge though about what could be in the soil and water there. And we sent News 3's Danica Lewis out to the property to catch us up on some plans and concerns out there, Danica. Well, certainly an interesting tour. We actually uh, followed this map here all the way through a lot of driving today, but the DNR hopes others who made their way through the ammo plant space will share thoughts on what they want to see there. But a group to make wants to make sure that contamination doesn't limit what can be done or harm anyone in the future. The Badger Ammo Plant property becomes a drive-through museum. I've pretty much been here through the whole thing. Lowell Grass gets a bird's eye view of his old stomping grounds. He played in these prairies as a kid, then worked at the plant, and then helped with the cleanup. Certainly quite different, <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm kind of glad to, to see it. Uh, it go back to prairie land and uh, the way it was in, in the early days. A few abandoned storage buildings, the old nitroglycerin factory, a plot of headstones. So this cemetery has been here since you know, 1840. The plant's ruins scattered throughout thousands of acres of empty ground, but it's what's below the surface that still has some worried. We're trying to encourage cleanup at the source areas in order to prevent the contaminants from moving to the groundwater at the first place. Contaminant concerns go beyond groundwater. After years of explosives and chemicals seeping into the ground, Laura Alla with Citizens for Safe Water around Badger wants to make sure the soil is safe for any future use of the land. There's been cleanup activities, but the level of cleanup that's been accomplished right now does not support future use in most of those areas. Back at the bluff. You know, now it's our property, we're responsible for it. DNR ecologist Mike Moore assures visitors that this land passed down by the Army isn't dangerous. And some areas we don't want to disturb the soil or we can't disturb the soil very far down. But it's, it's not really a place to be afraid of. The DNR continues to plan for this space and even though parts of the past aren't around anymore, Grass says it's all for the best. It's good to be gone, that the plant is gone. Now, along with preserving history, saving the environment, addressing concerns about contamination, and giving people a place to enjoy, the DNR says it all comes down to money. The Citizens for Safe Water around Badger says the Army wanted to get out as quickly and cheaply as possible, and DNR reps stress that they have limited amount of resources and they have to use them carefully. Well, if anything, it sure is beautiful out there around those Oh, bluffs. at least today, it was absolutely gorgeous. Picture-perfect day to show that off. All right, Danica, thank you. Sure thing.